welcome to eternal is education in this session you are going to learn chapter 7 working with open office calc content of this video is introduction to open office calc and parts of the worksheet so this is our chapter 7 working with open office calc spreadsheet is very useful office automation tool to organize analyze and store data in a tabular form so this is the important thing organize analyze and store data in tabular form in the last uh, in the previous video you learned how to insert a table in the open office writer but here the spreadsheet basically a table that means it will be in a table format spreadsheet was developed as computerized equivalent to paper based accounting worksheets so instead of doing the accounting in a account sheet it's a computerized method to do the calculation with spreadsheet spreadsheet users can adjust any of the stored values and can observe the effects effects on the calculated values that is called what if analysis it's a two mark question modern spreadsheet can have multiple interacting sheets and can display data either as data either as text or uh, numerals or in graphical form that means if you have a tabular calculation in the worksheet if you change a mark the total will be adjust automatically so we can have a, a type of automated calculation in spreadsheet so this is the added advantage so three points first one is a spreadsheet is organized analyze and store data in tabular form next it can be uh, adjust based on the stored value so it is called what of analysis then we can have a data as a text or a numeral that means a number or a graphical form the evaluation of spreadsheet daniel bricklin so he is the person and <coughs> the two persons developed the first spreadsheet called visicalc in the year 1979 for apple company this paragraph is very very important any any line can be a one mark in 1982 lotus corporation introduced a lotus 1 2 lotus 1 2 3 was the first to introduce cell names and macros in 1987 microsoft corporation introduced excel Excel implemented a graphical user interface and the ability to point and click using a mouse. As you know, GUI means usage of mouse. There are lots of other spreadsheet applications. Microsoft Excel continues to be the most popular spreadsheet software. He is the father of he is called as the father of spreadsheet. Open Office Calc is a popular open source spreadsheet application maintained by Apache Foundation. Open Office Calc was the parent application of Open Office of Store Office Calc was the parent application of Open Office Calc. The Store Office is the old syllabus of your 12th standard. It's not a big different same uh, look like a Open Office. so developed by the german company star division in 1985 so then how to work with open office calc a uh, calc is the spreadsheet component of open office you can enter any kind of data in the spreadsheet and then manipulate this data to produce certain results alternatively you can enter data and then use calc in what of manner by changing some of the data and observing the results without having to retype 
that is the important point here is the picture of the first uh, spreadsheet software visicalc then what are the features of open office calc connecting with excel ability to open edit and save microsoft excel spreadsheets then auto summation list auto fill auto fill automatically extends the cell formatting when a new item is added to the end of the list auto fills means we can easily fill the formula up and down or copy paste these things we are going to work now then charts chart is the graphical or pictorial representation of a data functions we can use functions as you done one in one function in the calc no, not in the calc in the open office writer you learn how to sum but in the open office calc you can learn many formulas then database functions how to create a new worksheet we have to open the application start all programs open office open office calc then from the open office calc we have to select file new spreadsheet this is the application window of open office here we have learned a text to document now open the spreadsheet this is how the document will look first title bar below that standard tool menu bar below that standard tool bar then formatting bar this is set to be formula bar this is set to be name box and this is the uh, for, um, appearance of a calc always it's look like a tabular column rows and column which is a row this is a row horizontal thing is a row and this is a column a column is labeled with a b c uh, actually there are many columns so after z it is a a a b it will keep on moving like that so the rows also it's more than 65000 rows it, can you see the scroll bar i am keeping here again it started moving so it was more than 65000 so this is the row number and this is the column and if you keep a cursor here can you see the name box it is e10 this is the name and this active rectangle is said to be active cell now the active cell is h11 can you see the name box here h11 yes you must know what is the row and what is the column and what is the cell intersection of a row and column is said to be a cell and this uh, rectangle will show you the active cell and the active cell name will display on this name box so whenever you keep a cursor the name box will show the name of that particular cell then this is the scroll bar horizontal scroll bar vertical scroll bar then this is the sheet this is sheet 1 again sheet 2 sheet 3 normally in a document there will be page 1 page 2 am i right here this is a sheet 1 the beauty thing is in the sheet 1 there will be many pages i'll show you while explaining the printing document this is sheet 1 right sheet 1 alone will have more than 65000 rows and columns um file print print uh, page preview See here, I am given content name, 
Tamil, English, Maths and the student name file page preview. Can you see here? This is page number and this is the content. It's a page one as the content is only in one page. But this is sheet one. Sheet one will have, can you see a line here? Can you see the difference between the, this line and this line? This is a dark line. Okay, this is page one and this is page two. Likewise, each sheet is separated into pages. I keep some data here. Then you can understand the difference. Uh, spreadsheet, uh, that means one file is having many number of sheets. Default, it is three sheets. But if we want, we can add sheet. Right click, insert sheet. We can have default the name sheet 4 or else we can change the name. As the sheet 4 is here, we can move to this place. How to move? Right click, move. Move to the end position. Okay. Can you see here? So this is active now. This moves. This is the navigation window. Sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4. So likewise we can add delete rename rename means the name of the sheet can be changed sheet 4 so we can even change the name of the sheet so select sheet 1 here is a content here is a uh, content and in this page also we will have some other content now go to file page preview this is page one can you see three pages here click this place this is the zooming place this is first page this is third page this is second page so a document is having many sheets each sheet is divided into many pages is it clear children so you have learned what is a row what is a column what is a cell what is active cell and what are sheets how to add a sheet how to rename a sheet how to move a sheet and what is pages in a sheet these things you have learned see here the column heading starts with the a and ends with the AMJ that means uh, in the case of Microsoft Excel there are 16 384 columns and see the row 10 lakh 48 thousand then one mark uh, two mark question or one mark intersection of each row and column makes a box which is called as a cell each cell has its unique address the cell address is a combination of column heading and row number. Then cell pointer is a rectangular box which can be moved around the worksheet. The cell in which the cell pointer is currently located is known as active cell. So this is the cell pointer and this is an active cell. These are the columns and the row. So you learned the sheets, how to rename the sheet also. That's all for this session. Thank you. Have a good day.